I'm here in Avalanche Gulch, and my partners and I just climbed the dribbles. We went over to the gully above Silken Falls, and then we came over here. And I have to say, these gullies are definitely wind-loaded. I mean, it was a little spooky as soon as we saw them, uh, and we roped up to go out. Um, but once we so were digging, snow here. things were looking remarkably okay. And so here, the depth is only about two feet here, a little over two feet. Um, it's, it was like six feet uh, in spots over by Silken. And they do have a similar structure in that we've got a lot of dead snow at the bottom. We've got all this new windblown snow up top. And at this interface, this kind of darker stripe here is an ice layer. And underneath that are facets but we're not able to get them to, to break and propagate in any of our stability tests. So they're, they're behaving quite well, which is an encouraging sign. Um, I think for the next few days, that's a good sign. Looking forward down the line for weeks, um, we'll be watching to see if these get, get worse or not. Now, even though things are relatively stable in these, the two gullies I checked, personally, I'm going to be roped up crossing any gullies and I'm going to be testing and digging to make real sure that I'm not in a spot that I can trigger something. Because we know, even though these are looking reasonable, we know that four days ago on Sunday, ice climbers saw and also triggered avalanches in Comet Alley. Um, so we know the recipe exists for avalanches out there and we just have to be real sure that the gullies we're crossing aren't also unstable.